Hello all my Mayflowers and welcome back to my channel. It's Ari May here. And this is part three of my discussions video about family topic or family issues. And um, I'm on scene and tongue, uh, Tina and Sunny as I said in the last video. They've actually been pretty responsive from what I've seen my Tina's comments on a lot of stuff on Facebook. She comments on a lot of my statuses, always liking my statuses, and, my, and always liking my stuff on my Ari May page on Facebook. Make sure you check it out. Um, yeah, they've been, my Uncle Sonny, I haven't heard from him, but my Aunt Tina's been awesome about it, and I'm sure he is too. They've all, I've always been rather close to them. My dad's side of the family, they've always been the ones I've been closest to. So, yeah. Well, I'll move on to their kids, my cousins Corey and Cody. First start with Corey. Corey's known for a very long time. He was one of the first to ever find out. Like how he, he used to see how I was acting and whatnot. Like I talked about my um, story, five part story video. Make sure you check all those out. Like and comment if you can. Um, he's always been awesome about it. And he's always been supportive. He's always never judged me. We, me and him have always had such a close relationship. We've had a lot of fallouts over the years, but it's never changed how close we are. It's never changed how much he means to me. He's always been like a brother to me. He'll, I love him to death. Just know that, Corey. You're in Korea, you're in South Korea, and we'll be skyping later this week for the interview for my one series I'm starting. But yeah, and your reaction whenever you texted me back in November about it, you asked who Ari Anna May was, and I told you I was like, that's me. I said, you know, I've been transgender. Blah blah blah. And you were, I mean, you were kind of mad. It seemed that you were the last to find out. But the reason I didn't tell you for so long was because you had known, and I didn't feel like I had to, like, there were a lot of people that knew, and they had asked me, like, why didn't you just tell me sooner? I've known for a long time. It's just like, I was waiting. I mean, I wasn't really waiting, it's just you had known, there was, wasn't was really a reason to tell you. It's just you knew, we left it at that, and yeah. And then, Cousin Cody, he's been, it seems like he's been okay with all this. I mean, I haven't really heard from him very much lately, but... He seemed like he's been okay with all of it. He was, I told him, he was one of the people I told last year. He had known for a long time too, but I told him last year. Um, yeah, I haven't seen him in a while, but I'll see him soon, hopefully. Um, he's always been like a brother to me as well, and loves a kid to death. Not really a kid; he's not much younger than me, but you know what I mean. So, so that could. And then my aunt Wendy and Uncle Craig and their kids. Uncle Craig, I haven't heard from him about it. I'm sure he's known for a long time because my Aunt Wendy, pretty sure she found out last year because she had requested to follow me on Twitter. So make sure you check me out on Twitter, by the way. Ariana with three A's, May with three A's, and two Y's. Um, but she requested to follow me on Twitter, so I'm pretty sure that's when she found out was through Twitter. And I'm pretty sure she told my uncle and my little cousins. And I've heard from her a few times, and she's been awesome about it, really supportive. So thank you guys for that. I'll see you guys soon eventually. Um, let me think, what else? Who else in my family? And then my dad, his family's huge. I haven't really heard from any of them, honestly. I've heard from my cousins Heidi, or my cousins Heidi and, um, Ashley have been awesome about all this. Thank you, guys. I know we had our differences over the years, Heidi and Ash, but you guys have been awesome about all this. I can't thank you enough. I'm glad we put our past behind us, and I'll hope to see you guys all soon. Um, my dad's family, it's huge. I don't even want to get into all of that. I haven't really heard, I've heard from... My Aunt Gay, I've heard from, um, I really can't remember, honestly, because his family's huge, and I've heard from his immediate family, obviously, but not really the extended family. So, yeah, that is them, and then I'm going to get into a few friends that are like family. I call them the Stick Tattoo Company I go to. I have their logo on my arm. I'm zoom in. Stick Tattoo Company. It's located in Morgantown, West Virginia, next to Primanti Brothers and Salad Works. Make sure you check it out. They have been awesome about all of this. They found out on Facebook. They found you in the people you. They found me in the people you may know section, and they knew about it. And I mean, I kind of figured they were going to find out eventually, or that they knew. But I was waiting to tell them. But then I was told one day that they knew because one of them sent me a friend request on Facebook. I accepted it, and then I had kind of waited until I messaged them all on Facebook eventually. Damien, Harmony, Brittany. Um, Andrew, my tattoo artist, and all of them, and they've all been awesome about all of this, and Jennifer as well. I've messaged them all, and they've been awesome about all of this, 
can't thank them enough. When I'm at the stick, they just I feel like I'm at home. There's a reason I have so many tattoos because it's like ink therapy. That's what I call it. For the last year I've gone to them, they've just made me feel at home. They've made me feel like I just I feel at peace up there. Just when I'm getting tattooed, sometimes it hurts, obviously, but it's just like it feels good. It's relaxing. I've fallen asleep a few times during the last few tattoos, but thank you guys. Um, did anyone I haven't heard from or Dan Vol Dan Lewis, um, Brandon, any other Brandon, but that's okay. I'm here from you guys will see me eventually. Um, Dan's done a lot of my tattoos. He's an awesome tattoo artist. He did my mermaid here on my arm. You can't really see it. Eventually I'll post a video about all my tattoos from the stick. Give them a big shout out. I have a video project I'm wanting to work on with them, so hopefully you'll get to meet all them soon. Yeah, I'd love for you all to meet them. They've made a big impact on my life over the last year. Um, Andrew, who's done a lot of my tattoos, he did my knuckle tattoo. It says Halloween in Goosebump font and candy corn colors. He's done a lot of tattoos on me this year and last year, and he is just a phenomenal artist. And then the other two I haven't gone to so far, but I have appointment for them over the next month. Brandon Volek and Brandon Moach, they are fantastic artists. Anyways, um, yeah, that's really all it for my family. Alrighty, everyone. Well, this has been my family video. I hope you all really enjoyed this, and I will see you all soon. Bye.